Hey, hi, hello. Welcome to Garand Tech Solution. Uh, in today's series, okay, today we shall be starting a new series, which is whereby we shall be creating a, a books application. Uh, this is going to be created in Flutter, and this books, uh, okay, this books application, we plan majorly to look on to look at the following. We plan to use a Flutter block and the repository pattern for the application design and uh, architecture, the application architecture. We plan also to use uh, Firebase for back-end and uh, database management. Then uh, we, we plan also, we, we are going also to integrate the Google Auth plus the phone Auth, that is a two a two or double authentication mechanism for this application and also one of the most important feature for uh, for for these applications right now is the localization of these applications uh, localization whereby we can have multi languages for for this application whereby we can allow readers to choose and change the languages for these applications then uh, also allowing multi theme because uh, since i'm a developer i, I love so much uh, dark themes so dark themes work for me so well and uh, if i get into an application whereby i'm only locked to one theme which is uh, maybe light theme uh, it makes me feel bad so we may we, we shall use uh, we shall integrate uh, multi theming whereby i can put in a lot of themes to allow the user make a proper choice for himself then um, the other is going to be the cart management, uh, the management of the cart, because uh, this this book application we also we are we are also looking at uh, to, uh, we are also looking at allowing users to get their favorite books, add them to cart and check out. Okay, and if in case uh, they have um, some of their books locally in the phone, uh, some PDF books, uh, e-books locally in the phone, they can they can be able to. Uh, let me say get them and put them into the application so that they can be able to read directly within the application so the the, the purchase uh, the purchase part, part is going to allow users purchase either ebooks or purchase physical books which are which can be done for delivery uh, the main essence of this is to help uh, new new guys, uh, new developers, and uh, maybe any other person who wants to see how to make a product from start to finish. Uh, that's uh, that's that, that, that's the the main goal behind it uh, to help those who want uh, to to see if they can uh, they can have an application built from start to finish. So. For this up for this uh series or this project, you don't need to have a lot of knowledge, you don't need to have a lot of knowledge in maybe let me say block management or firebase or what. Uh, you only need to have just some basic knowledge in Flutter. You must be able to you must be able to understand Flutter a uh, little bit uh, for you to be able to catch up with us. And uh, then other things uh, we shall be explaining them as we move. So let's get started. Okay, welcome. Uh, to get started, we are, we are going to first of all begin by creating the Flutter project, and this is going. We are going to we are going to go to our terminal and uh, create Flutter project. So we uh, shall say Flutter create, and uh, the, for this particular application, I'm just going to call it a Bookmate, Bookmate, Flutter create Bookmate. Okay. Uh, for flutter create flutter bookmate or oh, just bookmate uh, this application also I plan just to put it on Play Store after this for other users to be able maybe to use use it afterwards okay it is creating initializing Okay, let's give it some time as it initializes. It's 
some issue with the internet connection okay and there we go so uh, we have now the project uh, we are going to cd into the project that is uh, bookmet okay and we are going to open it in vs code it's opening Okay, as it's still open, so we are going to create a Okay, I think now we have it open. So this is uh this is the project itself. forgive my machine for being a little bit slow but uh, we shall just move with it the way it is okay so what you are going to do we are going to go into our pub pub.yml file that is pubsec.yml file to add dependencies that you are going to use in this project and uh, some of the dependencies that we plan to use in this project we plan to use the async or sync uh, flutter block the block itself cloud firestore and other other dependencies okay so i'm i'm going to use uh, my pub assist that is a uh, pubsec assist uh, dependency this dependency hope you have it okay so it's, it's a good one where but it enables you to easily add the packages to your project so uh, this is going to be we are going to use uh, one async async we are going to also use block we are also going to use flutter block flutter block we are also going to have um, cloud firestore firebase uh, firebase core equitable mm, what else or also maybe we shall need the uh, firebase database firebase uh, database then uh, firebase database firebase database so i think uh, maybe also okay for now we can just have it uh, we can just have it up to that point so we shall leave it uh, to start to start uh, the addition of the packages we are going to open our application terminal okay multiple formatters uh, for now i'm not conf okay let's uh, let me choose one um i'm just going to use the ml itself okay so my uh, dependencies have been okay the dependencies have been added uh okay let's uh first uh initialize this project uh they initialize the git project git init Okay, git add and we are going to push our initial commit. Okay.
uh, git commit initial commit okay so since we are going to have uh, the localization the localization of this application we shall also need the localization the localization dep uh, dependency to be added that is flutter uh, localization localization uh, flutter okay maybe we can we can skip we can first of all leave it and for until we reach uh, that point when we need it so that's it that's it for now and uh, now it's time it's high time now we start uh, structuring our project well so what we are going to do we are going to create uh, the assets folder assets this is where we are going to put uh, all uh, all our assets and within the assets we are going to have images also within the assets we need to have the fonts folder the images we may we may have the icons we may have uh, the logo okay and maybe other other stuff that we that we shall that we shall need okay so that's uh, that's the assets next we when you come to the lib within uh, okay within the lib we are going to have the models okay models we we shall have also the views and within the views we shall have the widgets okay and maybe the widgets and the pages uh, the respective screens uh, that uh, that we shall be that we shall need then now uh, we we shall need uh, block block uh, okay, it's uh, mainly we shall just call it blocks. This is where we shall be putting our blocks uh, that is uh, the, the responsible blocks and the code bits that uh, we need for this for this particular application. Uh, we need also the database folder, the database folder, uh, particularly the local database. Uh, okay, uh, my, my okay. The database uh, we also need uh, uh, the repositories we also need uh, the providers okay for this particular application we are going to also I say that we are going to use also the repository pattern uh, the repository pattern is so good in a way that uh, it allows you structure and separate uh, concerns from your main application you whereby you you create uh, you create uh, the back end interaction back end interaction files which which are not even uh, which are not even concerned of who is going who is going to consume them or how the UI is supposed to be looking like their work is just maybe to be fetching the the the, the necessary data fetching the necessary data and uh, maybe give it to you so that is uh, that's uh, that, that's the, the work of the repositories and the providers and uh, we are going to make it in a way that you can easily uh, migrate from one uh, one particular database to another or you know, migrate from one API to another very easily without uh, without affecting other files whereby in case you want to do that you just interact with the only single file i think uh, we are having some issue with uh, uh, the the pub the pub get uh, this bookmate did depends on uh, the async the async itself okay we need the async version we need to put it to one okay maybe also we had forgotten uh, yeah we had also forgotten uh, we had forgotten google auth that is google signing signing we had also forgotten firebase auth i think our uh, firebase uh, Fire, firebase auth and uh,
uh, Firebase Auth uh, the for Firebase Auth Google sign in and maybe shared preferences preferences also we forgot the SQL flight SQL flight uh, this is uh, this is mainly going to be used for a uh, lock catch data catch I know most of you will say that you have Firebase uh, you can easily Firebase has a good persistence but uh, as I said that we may she okay for, for this particular project it can you want to make it very easy that we will be able to shift from one particular database to another and the reason for having a desk desk flight which is the package for the sqlite is to allow uh to allow the to allow the catch of uh, let me say the cat data that is the cat uh, catching the cat locally so that uh, in case the user doesn't have uh, internet he can easily access his his uh, his uh, items within the cart and also his books that he saved within the cart that is the favorite list and other stuff so let's also add them Okay. Also, as I still adding, uh, we shall need the utils folder. Utils. Okay, where we shall be putting all our necessary helpers. Well, let's save this. Okay, and uh, lastly, in case we have any service, maybe any service within the application is going to be set there. So we shall have the services. So mainly this is this is the structure of our application. And uh, okay, this uh, this kind of folder structure is so good in the way that it helps you uh, easily know where to find which kind of file and. Uh, to avoid to, to avoid mixing uh, stuff for which can make you, which can make you feel very messy and other stuff so that is the first stuff for which we have done so for now we shall end there and we shall continue in the next video 